Imagine being kissed by the love of your life in a golden paradise, surrounded by flowers and stars. That's what Gustave and Emily experienced when they posed for The Kiss, a painting that marked the peak of their artistic and romantic relationship. In this video, I'll be telling you the story behind this masterpiece of art and love. The Kiss is an old painting with added gold leaf, silver, and platinum by the Australian symbolist painter Gustave. It was painted at some point in 1907 and 1908 during the height of what most scholars commonly refer to as this golden period. It is considered a masterpiece of the early modern period, an icon of Jugendstil Viennese art nouveau. The painting depicts a couple embracing each other, their bodies entwined in elaborate beautiful robes, decorated in a style influenced by the contemporary Art Nouveau style and the organic forms of the earlier arts and crafts movement. The painting now hangs in a museum in Wien, Austria, and is considered a masterpiece and is Gustave's most popular work of art. But who are the lovers in this painting, and why did this kiss change everything for them? More of that in a bit. First of all, let's talk about the mind behind this artistic masterpiece. Gustave was born in 1862 in Wien, Austria. He was a successful painter and muralist who, after studying the Wien School of Decorative Arts, he set up a studio with his friend and his brother where they focused on mural paintings. They adapted their style to suit the taste of Wien's elite and wealthy class. Their earlier work followed the academic style of painting commonly in the 19th century. They were awarded the Golden Order of Merit in 1888. His father and brother died in 1892, which led to him to develop a more personal style of art. He was influenced by symbolism and other sources beyond his classical training and worked in a realistic style until he became disillusioned with the conservative art establishment and joined the Sessionist movement in 1897. This movement aimed to create a new style of art that was more expressive, personal, and modern than the academic art of the time. He became the leader of this movement and developed his own distinctive style that combined symbolism erectotism, and decorative elements. The University of Wien commissioned him to paint three ceiling murals for them in the early 1900s. The philosophy mural, which he showed at the secession exhibition, sparked a controversy because it had dark figures and several naked bodies. He faced a lot of criticism for his work at the time, but he also achieved great success. He painted with a lot of gold leaf and flat perspectives in this era. This was also a time when he created his masterpiece, The Kiss. Another thing he was notorious for and what ultimately inspired his work was his unconventional lifestyle and his many affairs with women. He never married, but he had at least 14 children with different women. You heard that right, 14. Can you imagine the drama and the complications that came with that? Not to mention the expenses. Let's just say that he was especially fond of his models, who were often young and beautiful women from lower class backgrounds. When he was not busy courting them, he painted them in sensual and intimate poses, sometimes nude or semi nude, revealing his fascination with female sexuality and fertility. And amongst these models was Emily, who ended up becoming not only his muse, but his long-life companion as well. They were a fashion designer and businesswoman who ran a successful salon in Wien. She met him in 1891, where he painted a portrait of her sister, who later married his brother. They became very close friends and eventually lovers, although they never lived together or had children. They shared a passion for art, culture, and travel, and they often exchanged letters and postcards when they were apart. And if that isn't a dream life. She also influenced his artistic style and taste. She introduced him to the Art Nouveau movement and the works of British art such as William Maurice and Charles Renine Mackintosh. She also designed some of the dresses that Gustave's female subjects wore in his paintings, such as the colorful flowing gown that the woman in the kiss wears. Her dresses were inspired by the reform dress movement that advocated for more comfortable and practical clothing for women that did not restrict their movement or health. Emily's dresses were also seen as a symbol of female emancipation and modernness in contrast to the rigged corsets and frills of the traditional fashion. It is widely believed that she was the model for the woman in the kiss, although there is no definitive proof of this. Some scholars have suggested that the woman is also another model known as Red Hilda, who bears a strong resemblance to the woman in some of Gustave's other paintings, such as Woman with Feather Boa, Goldfish, and others. However, many people prefer to think that the kiss is a portrait of the love affair, as it captures the intimacy that they shared, content with the life that they spent together. 
As I previously mentioned, the kiss was painted during Gustave's golden period, which lasted from 1899 to 1910. During this time, he used gold leaf extensively in his paintings, creating a shimmering effect that enhanced the beauty and richness of his subjects. He was inspired by other mosaics that he saw during his travels to other places like Venice, as well by ancient Egyptian art that he admired at different museums in Wien. He also incorporated geometric patterns and organic forms into his compositions, creating a contrast between flatness and depth, abstraction and realism, and order and chaos. Now let's look into the details of the painting itself. The Kiss is one of the most striking examples of Gustave's use of gold and symbolism. The painting is almost square, measuring 180 by 180 centimeters, and it fills the entire canvas with the figures of the lovers. The background is a flat, golden plain that suggests a mystical or heavenly realm. The man is wrapped into ornate robes that covers most of his body, and only his face, feet, and hands are visible. The woman, however, has her arms and shoulders exposed as well. At the feet of the couple, we can see the edge of a flowery meadow. The man's robe is decorated with large and small rectangles that are black and white in color, while the woman's robe is adorned with black and brown rectangles and spirals. The pattern and sizes of their robes may be reflecting their personalities and roles as well. The man is shown to cover a larger area on the canvas, appearing more dominant while the woman seems to be appeared to be more timid and submissive with flowers of different colors on her clothes. Her hair is also decorated with blue flowers of different shades. The pose of the lovers may also be symbolic. We can see that the man is holding the woman's face in his hands and is kissing her on the cheek, while the woman has her eyes softly closed. She also has her arms wrapped around his neck. Their heads are tilted in opposite directions, creating a sense of contradiction in the painting. The man appears to be leaning in for a kiss on her cheek while she subtly turns away. The difference between the golden background and the green meadow in the painting suggests a striking contrast between the spiritual and the physical world. It leaves us to ponder over the the differences between the divine and the human, the eternal and the temporal. It is interesting to note that if they were to be put in an auction, it is likely that the kiss would once again break sales records. In 2006, one of Gustave's portraits sold for $135 million, and at that time, it was the highest price ever paid for a painting ever. We can only imagine what the kiss would be worth at an auction today. And yet, despite his clear talent, Gustave, like many other artists, was not sure if he was good enough. He was still uncertain of his artistic ability. He once said that although he believed that he can draw and paint well and others may too, he was not so confident that it was true. However, when we look at the kiss today, we cannot disagree more with Gustave. This painting is undoubtedly one of the most famous and celebrated paintings of all time. So much so that back in 2003, a corrumative 100 euro gold coin was issued by the Austrian Mint. On one side of the coin was the bust of Gustave, and on the other side there was a small etching of the kiss can be seen. Gustave and the kiss are both significant and celebrated parts of Austria's history, and it seems fitting that Gustave's golden period is remembered in this way. The kiss is a painting that celebrates love and beauty and is marked the peak of Gustave's artistic career. After the kiss, Gustave's style became more abstract and less decorative, as he experimented with new techniques and themes. It is currently located in this museum in Wien, Austria. Click on any of the two videos on the screen right now for more content.